So now I have a new Apple Watch Series 5 and this is my Apple Series Watch 4. So now I need to unpair this one from my iPhone XS Max so I can pair the new one with my phone. So let's start by go into settings. As you can see my new watch pops up here but I will do that later. So first let's go into the Apple Watch app and here we have my watch faces and so on and my so here is my Apple Watch Series 4 so go in there click on the Series 4 a little I there for information here you can see that you can remove the pairing of this watch so click on unpair like that. Now I need to um, put in my Apple ID password like that. So now the app removes my old watch from this iPhone. This can take a while it says. Meanwhile you see that uh, the new watch is waiting to be paired with, with this iPhone, as you can see. Pretty easy to do. So this will take a while, it says. So let's see how long. As you can see on this Series 4, it works with the unpairing. But uh, after unpair this, you're not done yet because you need to remove it from your iCloud account too because otherwise no one else can use this watch because it's locked to your account so you need to remove it from iCloud too so that's a very important step to do so now it has unpaired it in the Apple Watch app now we should go into iCloud we go into iCloud and here we have, down here, we have all my gadgets, my watches and um, iPhones and so on. So here we have the Apple Watch Series 4, as you can see. We go into that. And here you should remove it from the account. Here at the bottom. So I click on that. Remove from the account. I have done that. Now it's removed from my gadgets as you can see here. So now you are done by doing so. So now you have unpaired the old watch and you have also removed it from your account. So now the Apple, the old Apple watch is done. You are finished with that one. So now we will pair the new one. So again, otherwise you can do this. You can turn the screen off and turn it on again like this. Sorry, like this and see if that pops up as you can see. And now you just follow the guide. Let's begin. And now it says that I should hold, hold it up to the camera. like this now it's paired with this new with my iPhone as you can see so now I can say that it will be on my left arm Accept. Now it's logging in to my Apple Watch account. It 
can take a while. Meanwhile, you see that the old watch is laying here and ready to pair with another iPhone. And here you can choose to uh, share your analyze with uh, analyzing of this watch with Apple. I don't want that, so I do that. So now I should put in a passcode. Create. Create a long passcode. I can recommend doing a long passcode more than four numbers because that's a lot more secure. So now I should do a long passcode. Like that. Now it says continue. Apple Pay. So now I've added Apple Pay, my credit cards, to the Apple Watch. Now it needs some uh, SOS setup. And here we have some info about uh, watch faces, apps, and so on. Now the Apple Watch is synchronizing, so it will take a while, I know that, by experience. So I think I will stop this video now, um, because this will take a while, but after that the watch actually is ready to be used. So I think uh, this is good enough for this video. It will be very interesting to try the new Apple Watch Series 5, compare it to my Series 4 and so on. It will be very interesting actually. So that's it for now. I hope you understand that I can't stay until the Apple Watch is synchronized and so on. But after that I know by experience it, the watch is ready to be used. So not much more to see actually. This is how you unpair uh, your old watch, your old Apple watch and uh, use it with a new one. So that's it. Bye!